All right, so when you open your top cover, always look at it. You're not always just looking for a queen. You're looking for little beetles or ha, any sort of larva that is not associated with bees. little black dot if it'll focus there we go that is a small hive beetle you do not want to see this in your hive so because we see one we are going to make sure we put beetle traps in this hive to ensure they don't get out of hand because they will destroy your honey crop so you'll see the bees chasing around these uh, these hive beetles they're going to try to attack them, but because the shells are so tough, bees can't really bite through them. Um, so the, the most they can do is chase them around into corners, rip off their antennas, stuff like that. And what we're going to do is put some beetle blasters in the top here. So I got a beetle blaster out. What we're going to do is we are going to fill this. about that much, top of my finger, with uh, some oil, cooking oil. And then I'm just gonna slide it in here and push it down real good. Push it down really, really good. I might have to uh, break the propolis on the frame, spread it out a little bit, but just push it down real good. And then uh, the bees will chase the beetles up to the top here and they're gonna run right into the trap. Now, if whoo, if the trap stays the way it is, where it's propped up like that, um, they will run under it just to escape. Because all they all they're trying to do is not be harassed. So if that's the case. I will uh, break this a little bit, make sure it's nice and snug down. Next time when I open, I'm gonna run my tool across the whole thing, just in case there's beetles under there. Then I just instantly kill them. Hi everybody. Beetle Blaster. Don't do this over the hive, because if you spill or overflow this and spill it in the hive, it, uh, I'm gonna try and say it the easiest way possible. If it gets on the bees, it fills their tracheal, um, tracheas and then they can't breathe I'll say it even simpler if you pour it on them they can't breathe because they have holes all down the sides of them their abdomen and thorax and if the oil gets in it it won't come out and they'll suffocate it's essentially their way of drowning all right I got both in I filled them up with uh, oil you'll see that this super is pretty much empty. There's no pulled wax or anything. So what the bees are doing is they're chasing them up from the brood boxes all the way to the very top. And then they're running around on the inner cover trying to find a little nook or cranny to get away. So hopefully now they'll run around and they'll run straight into our traps. I have you now. So this is pretty much what the bees do. They, they do something perfect for me and then uh, they'll go ahead and give up on it. <laughs> but they chased these guys directly into the corner, these little hive beetles. And now that oh, you can see the, the one bee's kind of attacking them a little bit, trying to, trying to bite their antenna off. Um, the darker ones are fully mature. And you'll see some are, ooh, get her girl. Some of them are a little uh, lighter brown. But 
this is how it works on the inside of the hive. They'll chase them into the corner and then harass them until that hive beetle can find a way to escape or just find a way out. So, what I'm going to do before I put this back is I'm going to crush all of these guys and then uh, I'll put this inner cover back on and hopefully they can chase the future hive beetles into uh, our beetle trap. Okay, this is a small hive beetle trap. This one is called a beetle blaster. They're, they have not endorsed our video or anything like that. We just use them. Beetle blaster, beetle, betterbeetleblaster.com if you're interested. In. But basically what we do is we fill it about halfway with some vegetable oil. And you can see right down here, maybe. There we go. There's a beetle, small high beetle right down there. Only one in this trap. So that's a good sign for our hives. It's working, but we didn't have, we don't really have a small high beetle problem, but we'd put these in as a precaution because it's not gonna hurt the bees or anything like that. You can see they do put some wax around, propolize to the frame. So you, you definitely wanna make sure that you run your hive tool over the top of the beetle blaster. Make sure if there's any small high beetles hiding underneath that they get squished and also that you lift straight up whenever you're pulling it out from between the frames so you don't spill any oil because it will get on the bees and they won't be able to breathe. All right, if you have any questions about this, let us know in the comments. Bye.